we will be using Office of Daily Prayer noon settings, so page 296. Uh, 296 in the LSP. And Psalm 80. And then for the prayer, I'm going to say, we'll flip over uh, to the litany and on page 288 uh, when, we come, when it comes time for the prayer. Beginning on page 296. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cry out for distress and have raised my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let's read Psalm 80, responsibly, half verse by half verse. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you, lead, you who lead Joseph like a flock. Who are enthroned upon him, cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your mind and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts. How long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears. And given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us an object of contention for our neighbors. And our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted, planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade. The mighty cedar with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea. And its shoots to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls? So that all who pass along the way pluck its fruits. The boar from the forest ravages it. And all that move in the field feed on it. Turn again, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see. Have regard for this vine, the stock that your right hand planted. And for its son, whom you made strong for yourself. They have burned it with fire. They have cut it down. Made it perish at the rebuke of your face. But let your hand be on the man at your right hand. The son of man whom you have made strong for yourself. Then you shall not turn back from me. Give us life and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord, God of hosts. Let your, shine, let your face shine that we may be saved. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Continue with uh, First John uh, using the New Matthew Bible. We all could be uh, based on the Tyndale New Testament. So, uh, chapter four basically it continues the cyclical process John has for everything else, uh, going from recognizing you as a beloved child of God, then your sinfulness. And then uh, being able to have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, so your sins forgiven. And then making a hard and fast distinction between good and evil. Uh, if you do evil, you're of the devil. If you do good, you're of God. And what does that mean? Well, well if, you're, if, if you're from God, then you, you look towards God, and then you find out you're sinful, and then you pray to Jesus, and then you hear that Jesus of Jesus or the devil, and then he just kind of goes through this. So um, now, now he's uh, basically warning you to be wary of those who are of the devil. Ye 
Ye beloveds, believe not every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God or not. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you may know the spirit that is of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit which does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of whom you have heard that he would come. And even now already he is in the world. Little children, you are of God and have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, and therefore what they say is of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another. For love comes of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this did the love of God for us appear, that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, so that we may live through him. Here in is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we dwell in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and we testify that the Father sent the Son, who is the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, in him dwells God and he in God. We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he who dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. In this is the love made perfect in us, so that we may have trust in the day of judgment. For as he is, even so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. For, pain, for fear has pain for us. He who fears is not perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a person love, says, I love God, and yet hates his brother, he is a liar. For how can he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, love God, whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God should love his brother also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And yes, John is going through a whole bunch of cycles there. And I don't know if I can get all of them because he, he makes it. It sounds so simple, but it's all, also very complex. Um, basically, John is saying, do not follow the ones who are not of Christ, but are misusing the name of Christ, Antichrist. Uh, don't follow the ones who misuse the name of Christ, for they do not properly love. They do not properly know God, because they're not properly speaking about God in the flesh, who is Jesus Christ. So you know that they're not right when they speak differently than we do in the church. Alternatively, when you're in the church, you should actually know who Jesus Christ is, which is, and he is God's love for us, who sacrificed himself on the cross. So if you're in the love of, of Christ, in his sacrifice and his uh, self-giving love, then we should give ourselves in this love to other people. And if we withhold this love, then we're not following Christ, and we're becoming more and more like the Antichrist of the world. And John really likes to make those hard and fast distinctions. However, because God first loved us in the person of Jesus Christ, we are made to be like him and brought back into the favor of God. And this is why I love John and why also it's kind of like almost a love-hate relationship with John because he makes things sound so nice and so straightforward, but he's always extremely calm. Just wait until you get to Revelation and just throw us out a lot of the rules of grammar. Uh, I invite you to rise and we continue in prayer with the litany on page 288. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. 
Your Christ. Yes. God the Father in heaven. Have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crass and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit to comfort us. Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you. Be up to be us, O oh Lord. To rule and govern your holy Christian church. To preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome will, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to be us, good Lord. To raise those who fall, and to strengthen those who stand, to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to be us, good Lord. To give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our queen and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, Protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increase in happiness and their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to be us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth. And graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. We implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. O Christ. Hear us. O Lord. Have mercy. O Christ. Have mercy. O oh Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, Power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The concluding prayer on page 296. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people of the earth may look to you and see their salvation. For your mercy's sake, we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.